on whenever lines are collinear, you have to prove that two line segments on the line are parallel. So, so you, you would need to just show that, show that you need to get two line segments and then show that they're parallel by a point that is common. So let's look on an idea here. Let us say that we have the points A, B, and C. So they are points, they are not vectors, they are points. And how many line segments could you get out of this? At any given time, they will ask you about three points and you're able to make three line segments from this. For example, from A to B is a segment, A to C is a segment, and B, C is a segment. So we can make three line segments. Anytime you see three points, you can actually create three line segments every single time. So then if you can create three line segments, all I'm saying is you don't need three, you only need two. So yes, you can create three, but you can just pick on any two you wish to pick on. Let's pick out two. And let us look at picking out any two, all right? Let's look at this. What if you decide to pick A and B, A, B and A, C? You would notice that there is a common point A. At the end of the day, you know, the common point is not something you're going to max out. It's something that will be there. So the only thing you're really going to max out is to see parallelism. And we learned that the last time, but we're going to relearn. What if, so, so if you are somebody who pick on A, B and A, C and find the vectors for A, B and A, C, you're going to find something to say that they are parallel. It is there. And then you're going to say, hey, they share a common point A. Another student might pick on A, B, and B, C. Now, when they pick on A, B, and B, C, you're going to notice that the common point this time is B. And definitely when they find the vector A, B, when, when they find the vector A, B, and B, C, something will be there to show parallelism. And then you can say, well, look here, they are parallel and they share a common point B. Another student could pick, and I'm showing you, the reason why I have so many options, you only need to do one of these. I'm just showing you that you can do it three ways. You could have picked on AC. And BC. And BC. And when you do that, there will be C, that is the common point to here. So now we're looking at a line. That's the line, right? Everybody, can you see this line? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Would, yes. So the question would have would have would have would have said, prove that A, B, and C are collinear. That's it. Isn't it? Prove that A, B, and C are collinear. It's going to be your responsibility to understand that if we're dealing with A, B, and C then we have three line segments and I'm just going to write them for you. Now, same like what we just did, there is a A to B, there is a B to C, and there is a A to C. There are three. We will only pick on two. We don't need all three. So I am going to put what I want on the left side. So we're going to deal with A, B out of it because I don't want to waste time with all three. The result will be the same and AC. So I'm going to just pick on two of them, A, B, A, C. So obviously already we have part of the deal because guess what? The common point is already there. I trust that everybody see the common point. Yes, sir. So the common point is already there. So the thing though, most times you would need to find the vectors because it has to do with vectors. So you need to find the vectors. When you actually get a question, the vector, sometimes based on what they have you doing, you would have had these vectors waiting. Sometimes you have one waiting. I, I've never tried to do one where there is no vector waiting because it would have been from a question where you work out something already.
So sometimes you only need to find one vector. After you find that one, you link up your feed. So definitely, no, we don't have any here, which is the worst case scenario. But we can find AB. Look, AB is look at we stopping from A to B. So let me mark, let me just highlight A, highlight B, and I highlight C. So we're C. So remember, I'm focusing on AB and AC. Let's check this out. AB, I would have gone one, two, three, three places, three to the right, and then four up. Is that cool? So then the vector AB is three, four. So AB, let, let me put the working, I think I could put it right here. AB is three, four, All right? So AB is three, four. I remember I said, I'm going to be using AB and AC. So here it is, I'm showing you that AB is three, four, and then I'm going to go for AC. Help me check. AC, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So AC is six, eight right now. Check it out. Now, collinear is only to find two line segments from the three points. Ensure that there you have the vector for them. So now we have the vector for them looking at. And then now you would say to CXC that, look at this, two times the vector AB is the vector AC. That's one way of saying it. One of you might have said half AC is equal to AB right now. But you don't have to do two, you know. I'm just showing you that it is, sometimes it's like you have more than what to say. People just do, choose not to, but you can say what you have to say. So this would have proven parallelism the moment you do this. So you could say, so, so after, you, after you prove this, you know, this is like your voice, right? So this is like your voice, this. You writing this is your voice. That is, is a voice. So now, you can just conclude no, because remember, you know, you would have to be studying and you will remember that sir said that, hey, you know, we need to prove that two of the line segments are parallel and that they are connected by a common point. So now you could just say, you could just write a statement and you could say, hey, because after you do this, you'd have to do that first, because that is something to show them that, hey, they are parallel. Then you just write that thing and say, hey, AB is parallel. Because you know already to parallel to AC. So, so you know that you just tell them back. AB is parallel to AC and they watch this now. And they share a common point A. Done it done. That's it. It's over. This is what people would have seen and don't do it. So all I'm saying to you know, is knowing what to do is a big difference, like a huge, huge difference. This is what you have to do. Prove that the line segments are parallel and then identify a common point between them and you're done. And this is what we call co-linear. Now,